Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to apply a paper texture to a photo in Adobe Photoshop. So I've opened up my photo in Photoshop and I've also opened up a paper texture. And I'm going to go to select down to all and you'll see the marching ants appear around the edge of your canvas and that indicates that this whole area is selected and we can then go to edit, copy, switch back over to our image and then go to edit and paste. And it should paste this in. This paper texture is quite high res. So I'm going to zoom out and go to edit, free transform and then hold shift and scale from the bottom right corner so that it matches the size of my main image. And you can then double click to set that transform. So I've labeled my main photo, photo, and I'm going to call the paper texture, paper. So we have the main photo and the paper texture. Now what we can do is with the paper layer selected, just change the blending mode from normal to multiply and it will now blend that paper texture through on top of your image. What you can also do is adjust the opacity so you can bring this all the way down to zero to completely remove it and then just gradually increase that opacity depending on how prominent you would like the effect to be. So I think I'll go for around 90. Something you can also do is select the photo and you can also adjust the opacity of that. So let's just bring this down. So it gives it a slightly faded look. Let's go for about 80%. Okay, maybe 85. What we can also do if we want to accentuate the creases in the paper is select the paper layer and from the bottom of the layers panel, select add new levels adjustment layer and you have these three pointers here you have the shadows the midtones and the highlights if you just grab the midtone slider and just drag this to the right you'll see it will start to accentuate the creases on your paper so we've gone from this to this and then you can right click on that levels layer and select create clipping mask. And this arrow indicates that it's only applying this levels effect to the layer below. And that layer is also underlined. So it's only applying this to the paper layer. So if we switch this off and switch this on again. So it just enhances those creases and the midtones from that paper image. And there we go, that's how to apply a paper texture to a photo in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.